hazardous thought for a hazardous mind. The name of the game isn't hard to find. Yeah. Isn't hard to find. Yeah. Hazardous thought for a hazardous mind. The name of the game isn't hard to find. Yeah. Isn't hard to find. Let out your hazardous thoughts from your hazardous mind. Ink, therefore I am. I'm sure this is only mildly illegal. It'll end in divorce. They just have nothing in common. Flux, could you go up there and grab those nuts? Sure. You never know when some extra nuts will come in handy. you have here? Oh, whack me is just kind of a natural extension of warping me's hobby, see? What hobby is that? Beating the living crap out of each other for grin. <laughs> One day we realized, hey, here we are beating the living crap out of each other. But what's in it for us? And then Warp said, you know, Wolf, wouldn't all self-respecting zanies just give their eye teeth? <laughs> <laughs> 
for the opportunity to beat the living crap out of each other with the same style and finesse as us. Well, actually, Wart just kind of chuckled this weird chuckle, but I knew what he meant. And so, let me was born. Abuse tools by the experts. Exactly. We can put our names on whack me products with confidence because we've tested every item personally over and over <laughs> on each other. You're obviously a shrewd businessman. Hey, we saw a market niche and we failed it. In Zany do turn around and you step on someone who needs an animal. It's been a while since I was in here. Anything new? <laughs> Anything new? You hear that, war? <laughs> Anything new? Are you kidding, mister? You turn around, we got something new every day. Well, I thought it was... Turn around, you step on somebody who needs an anvil. Don't get smart, son. Stay the way you are. So, what is new? Our latest prototypes are in the case there. Uh, they aren't for sale just yet. <laughs> but we'd be more than happy to demonstrate them for you. Could you demonstrate one of those cigars? Absolutely, but be warned. This is no mere exploding cigar. This is the fat man of trick stogies. Smoking this sucker is real bad for your health. Best of all, it's guaranteed to go off in your mouth, not in your hands. Check it out. that flower. Friends, this is not your garden variety squirting flower. Why sprinkle your buddy with plain old water when you can douse him with an unhealthy portion of extra strength acid? <laughs> Show him, Warren. Looks interesting. That's our patented shake and flake itching powder. Sure, lots of stuff can make you itch, but our powder has a special added ingredient, Lepro C. I guarantee it'll give you a lot more than a little tangle. <laughs> Ready, War? <laughs> of that boxing glove. Right away, customer satisfaction is our middle name. Let me guess, turn around, you step on another satisfied customer. Correct. Now listen up, with the simple press of a button, this glove will smash the living daylights out of any unsuspecting sucker skull. The chump on the receiving end is guaranteed to see stars every time. Crush all you want, folks. This glove is built to outlast your victim's heads blow after blow after beautiful blow. Observe. <laughs> Know the quality of our genuine synthetic leather. I'm sure he has plenty more where these came from.
The uh, king would like to redeem his free rental voucher now. Let's see. The voucher's authorized. Cool. Okay, well, first let me give you his free gift. You mean his free rental? No, I mean his free gift. Here you go. It's a fly suit. Yeah, it didn't really, you know, work out as a rental. Nobody around here wants to look like a fly, I guess. But I thought, you know, maybe Hugh would like it as a token of appreciation for his business and stuff. Great, I can't wait to show him. And like, don't forget his free rental. Is King Hugh looking for anything in particular? Uh, we'll know it when we see it. Okay, like, take whichever one you want. Just a sec. Here you go. Enjoy, okay? Okay. I think we found what you're looking for. Oh, goody, goody, goody! This is terrible. Yeah. After all that effort, my costume is ruined. suppose this cloak is the proper attire for Seedy's club. Only one way to find out. Evening, man. Stop flirting, Jack, or I'll kick out your insides and turn your empty hide into a party dress. Of all the gin joints, and all the towns, and all the world, we walk into hers. <laughs> To you, Wow! Of course, we should search this area. For all we know, the fugitives could be hiding right here in our own backyard. Wait a minute, we have a backyard? Perhaps they have sought refuge in CD's club. Move it! Uh oh! Henchman alert! We're doomed! No, we're not! We can always. Um, well, uh... Move it! They can't have gotten far! We did it! We are winning! Three morons. Well, at least it beats being outwitted by three morons. Thank you. 
Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What kind of talk is that? Take my advice. A guy could find himself with his face caved in, mouthing off like that in my club. Did you clowns figure it was ladies' night or something? Ah, shut up, you bald-headed twit. That's better. Now, what can I do you for, creeps? We like two pairs of shoes. I'm a size 10. My friends are... Oh, a couple of hot shots, huh? Well, listen up. I see hot shots like yous come true here every day. Gunning for old CD. And I watch them crawl right back out the door. Losers, every damn one. Now, why don't yous do just... Blow. I don't understand. Gunning? For you? I only asked for some shoes. Listen, chump. The only shoe you'll get from me will need to be surgically removed from your rectum. Wait a minute. You two ain't aware that I, Seedy, am the one and only champion of hairpin bowling? No, I... Oh, hold on. Hairpin bowling? Where you jerks been, baking cookies? Hairpin bowling is the toughest, gruelingest, sweatingest sport ever invented. It's so tough, you gotta fight for a lane. And when she gets a lane, the only score what counts is a strike. And nobody ever scores a strike. That is, nobody but me. I can tell by the house rules that you're a fair man, CD. The rain But tell me, why is everybody fighting to get a lane? What's the big attraction? Well, a good rumble is reason enough for most of us. But there is the added incentive of a prize. See, you score a strike, you and these three beautiful golden pins. Yeah. Yeah. Take a good look, chumps. That's the last you'll be seeing of these. Unless you score a strike, that is. <laughs> So, see, what's your secret? Why are you the only one who's ever scored a strike? To be a world-class bowler, you need years of practice, huge cojones, and of course, my special <laughs> technique. <laughs> Step aside, losers. Watch and learn. Pin bowling. And yes, sport fans, all the animals were harmed during that performance. I guarantee you. You must make your mama very proud. Yes, and as for your bowling technique, well, it's uh, very unique. Yeah, it's a real gas. Well, well, ain't we cheeky? I guess the bottom line is that it works. That's right, but not just any old bum could pull it off. All right, all right, no more wisecracks. Thank you for your time, Mr. C.D., sir. I thought I told you, manners only maketh trouble around here, punk. I think what Drew meant to say was, Stop it, you bloated bag of gas!
Good style, good form, good adhesion. Overall, I'd give him a nine. I know this may be kind of unpleasant for you, little buddy, but I want you to know that it hurts you more than it hurts me. Aw, that's sweet. Hey, wait a minute. You did it! Woo. Thank goodness. I was afraid you'd have to shoot me out of your butt. A strike. I'll be damned. Yeah, and we didn't even use your special technique. No ifs, ands, or buts. Those two chumps scored a strike. A strike. Nobody scores a strike but me. Uh, CD. <laughs> a strike. Look, CD, I don't mean to rush the grieving process here, but could we have our trophy? We kind of got to get going. Ah, oh, take it, you losers. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Destroy my business. Destroy my reputation. Sure. I can handle it. Jeez, I hate to see a grown man cry. Yeah, especially one in a tutu. <laughs> Just go. I guess this means we can't be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I change into something a little more comfortable? This is a great book. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. Puzzles, stories. Say, would you like to hear a story? Of course not. Oh, come on, you'll like it. It's a story about a genie. The smartest genie in the world. Hmm. He certainly couldn't be as clever as I. No one ever stumped the genie. Until one day, the king's sister's best friend's hairdresser came to see him. Did she? She asked, what is the one question that you can't answer? That's nice. So, seen any good movies? Hold on a second. See, I thought maybe I'd ask you the same thing. Same thing? What? Same thing? You know, what's the one question you cannot answer? This is absurd. I... Well? I... it's... You can't answer my question? Stop it! I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. There's nothing I cannot answer. Nothing. I can't. Oh, I don't feel well. What have you done? Impudent meat puppets. What have you done? Done. 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 I knew he was smarter than old Boat Brain. So what is the one question he can't answer anyway? Oh, boy. Let's take the plunger. You blow off a guy's head and then take his plunger. Now that's low.
<laughs> Too bad the robot maker couldn't be here to see what we did with his gadget. The shock probably would have blown his head clean off if that hadn't happened already. I haven't had this much fun since my goldfish died. Goldfish! Nice catch! So the new parts go in those compartments around the cutifier's deck? Yes, that's right. When you've installed all the components, you simply press that big red button to run the machine. If there are any problems, the computer will let us know. Is the cutifier finished? Yes. 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 Wonderful. So are you fellas ready to go to it? Yes, sirree. We've never been so... Go to what? Well, goodness. Go and cutify things, of course. What did you think the cutifier was for? Flux, was this part of the bargain? I'm not sure. Do you think we have a choice? I guess the alternative would be to let Wing Commander here pilot it. No choice. Sir. That's okay. Maybe this will be another one of those meaningful life experiences. I certainly prefer that to one of those meaningless death experiences. Gentlemen, 
The time has come to launch the cutifier. Brick a brac. Yes. You did remember to build another much larger exit from this hangar, didn't you? Uh... Ah, my trusted henchman. Come in, come in. Please, indulge me in one simple question. Anything, Your Unholiness, you need only... Where are the fugitives I ordered you to arrest? <gasps> Gee, that's a good question. Silence, fool! Oh, well, 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 we'll find him, sire, and bring him to you. It's as good as done. We'll leave no stone unturned. No rock unrolled. Hey, your malevolence, I beg you, <laughs> give us this one chance to prove that we can do your evil bidding, that we are still worthy. Go then, but do not fail me again. Remember, reanimating your miserable corpses wasn't easy. Squeezing the life back out of them would be. Yes, sir. Your mission was an astounding, tremendous, cutifying success. I've been receiving messages from all over Qtopia. Tales of the wonderful transformations taking place. Can you believe it? It really works. <laughs> I now have the power to cutify anything. Anyone. Happy day. Happy day. Yes, it is. Surely is. I'm glad we were able to help Qtopia, King Hugh. But I am looking forward to getting home now. And I have every intention of sending you there just as soon as you finish your end of the bargain. Finish? But I thought, I mean, I have finished. The machine is up and running. Qtopia is cute again. True. Yeah. True. But if I'm not mistaken, the deal was for you to cutify the world. Meaning, of course, the whole world, not just Qtopia. Whole world? You don't mean, you can't mean, Zenithu. And the Malevolands, as we agreed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I agreed to that? Why, well, yes. Oh, come now, Drew. Surely we share the same sweet dream. This is our golden opportunity to spread happiness throughout the world. But, Your Majesty, if malevolation is bad for Qtopians, then think how cutification will feel to everyone else. Oh, yeah. My face can only take about four minutes of smiling before it starts to hurt. <laughs> no, you're just talking silly. What could be bad about cutification? Uh, sorry, uh, Hugh, this just doesn't seem right. I think. We'd better leave well enough alone. You don't seem to understand. I'm not asking you to do this. I'm ordering you as my loyal subjects. Now, wait a minute. Before you speak, think about it. Defy me, and you'll most likely be stuck here forever. Are you really willing to take that chance? Yes. Yes. <laughs> of course. I knew you'd see it my way. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. What do you mean, yes? I mean, yes. I'm not going to help you carry out this ridiculous plan. Yes, of course he's not. I guess I'll just have to find another way home. Well, have it your way, Drew. The world will be beautiful, and you'll be stuck here forever. Wrong! The world won't be cutified. Only Flux and I know how to fly the machine, and we, and these, are out of here. Stop. You aren't going anywhere. I command you. Stop. You. That's right. It's me, Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun. Everybody's favorite bunny. A bunny with a master plan. That is never good. 
The cutification of the world is only phase one. Even now, bric brac is busy developing an ultimate creative device. One that will give me the power to create all the happy things I desire. <laughs> In short, I will be a god. <laughs> oh, don't worry about the other King Hugh. He's safely locked away, learning how to be truly happy, just like me. And someday he, too, will take his rightful place at my feet. Woohoo! Time to skedaddle. Guards! Guards! Seize these enemies of Cutopia. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not the king! It's Fluffy Fluffy Bug Bug masquerading as Hugh! Me? A cross dressing, from seizing rabbit? Surely you can do better than that. He has the keys to the machine. Oh, get him. It's, uh... it's time to make our guests cute. Hey, nothing happened. Fox. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Goodness me, Daru. You are absolutely right. <laughs>